Hello everyone, it's I, Sakamoto. Welcome back to more of the Tale Yellow. With me, your boy, Sakamoto. Let's jump into it. Sigh. This playground used to be fun. Ever since my playmates stopped showing up, it's become boring. I wonder where they went. Epic swing. Hop on, yes. <laughs> he starts moving his legs. Thanks for sitting with me. I hope we can be friends. It isn't exactly flattering to live in a sandbox, by the way. Let's, go let's get going before the local kids think I'm some new toy. <laughs> oh, get up here, Toki. There's a note attached to the cactus. 50% of all of our products. The SM products is crudely scribbled out. Step right up! We got a blowout sale going on. It may look like we're almost sold out, but quite the contrary. We only ordered one stock of mugs. It has been on this trusty shelf for 13 years. The man is depressingly low, so take advantage of this offer now. Only four hundred and forty- uh, Only forty G, bucko. Wait, seriously? I mean, yes, of course. <laughs> I'll go fetch it off the shelf and ring you up. Go fetch it off the shelf and I'll reach it. Wait, I don't even need- Never mind. I guess I just wanted to do the- have him do the bit. Enjoy your shards of glass! No charge anymore, buddy. You break it, you don't buy it! Yay, we get to keep our money. Take the mug shards. Not enough in- Ah, oh, crap. Whoa, this song is- Whoa! <laughs> Attack five little shards of glass. Yep, so it's good. HP after every attack. After every attack, okay. Um, okay, so we already went over there. We know that just takes us back to the mine. What's the hold up, pal? Nothing, I just want to save that I got shards of glass. Where Okay, let's go. Monster? Headla approaches from the flower bed, offering you a flower. Except, you reach for Pedla's offering. Here you go! Ah! Pedla lets out a warm smile. You won. They're being so gold. Woohoo! <sighs> Howdy! Gee, looks like we're getting close to the, the to an exit from this place. Aside from those mines, Tyler's been pretty friendly to us. Should be a simple journey for me on a clover? Great. <laughs> clover! You're alive! You're here! You're here! I can't believe myself! I left you all alone in that cave! You had to brave the dunes by yourself! I'm a horrible friend! They trust me to be a royal guard and I left a child for dead! Like, what is wrong with me? It's okay. I... yes. Thank you. You're clearly able to take care of yourself. The crash just happened so fast. When I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the sandy landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting other monsters involved. They might have questioned me and I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned us into, into the more sinister royal guards. So I, uh... Sat by a cactus for an hour, thinking of what a piece of garbage I am. I then got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but here you were. So I'm deeply sorry. I'm deeply sorry. Uh, I'm deeply. So I'm deeply sorry. Forgive. Thank you, Clover. <laughs> You're very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I decided that I won't le leave your side from now on. I'll follow you wherever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I I understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you want to hang around, that's great. I didn't get to sightsee you at all on the way over here. Well then, friend, shall we be off? Sorry about all that. Oof. Okay, wake up, Sakamoto. Welcome to Oasis Valley, home to the largest body of water in the dunes. Pinch, pinch. <laughs> you are my pinch traveler. I do not have any treasure hidden within my shell. Why do monsters keep asking me that? We're not caged within these fences, traveler. There's a choice. It's nice to live in a familiar place with a pack. It's also nice to be fed and taken pictures of. Okay. Who's from the Wild East, are you? 
I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, young one. As you may notice, I have a knack for the preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, there must be a source of water close by or, among, or amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. It's one of my many hobbies. Above the table is a painting of a large sculpture stone. It's almost as if the heat leaps right off the canvas. It is 5.11 in the morning, so there might be a little bit of traffic out there. Just a heads up. You found 30 gold in one of the pants pockets. No. Hello, traveler. Would you be interested in having your fortune told? Only five gold for person. For fortune. For fortune. <laughs> now, now you may think that price is a little low. What's what quality fortune from an experienced fortune teller costs five gold? I need to slow down. Well, your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a fortune teller in training, so I'm selling tiny fortunes. Practice, you see. So, can I interest you in a bite-sized fortune? Sure. Let us see what the world has in store for you. <laughs> Hmm. Oh dear! The future seems to indicate you're in for a tumble. Oh, no, 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 no. It looks like a big one, too. It will happen very soon. Hang on. Oh, tumbleweed. I guess I got a little excited and missed that second part. Sorry for the scare. It looks like everything is fine after all. Yay. You can't go up there. I already tried, but let me just show you guys. Yeah. What's over here? I forgot. Lol. <sighs> all right. A large ornicate. Unfortunately, it's locked. It will be important later, though. It pertains to the character I gave the wrong accent to, hint, hint. <laughs> if you have seen or played this game already. Hello, darling. How are you doing today? It's a lovely day, ain't it? It is always this hot and humid, you think? Is it? What? Anyways, I just moved here from Sun, so I'm not sure yet. But a local like you would know, right? I got a question for you, actually. Do you develop some sort of spectrum of hot around here? See, like, it's not just hot, but blazing versus hot. Blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later or something. This monster is too busy quenching the thirst to speak. With eye catching water like that, who could resist? The reflections sparkle through the storks in the pool of water. <laughs> you notice a high tech filtration system keeping it drinkable. I don't see my reflection. Whatever. Have you given up your life to become a wrangler to experience modernism? I highly suggest doing so. It is the most prestigious life one could choose. Cheek architecture, light switches, latte machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. I would sell you something, but I'm on strike. The owner needs to better himself. That's me, I'm the owner. <laughs> a child's drawing depicting three happy monsters. My presence is failing. By me. Yo, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a gaming sash. Oh, you're a kid like me. I bet you're good at these machines. Are you trying out Mimi a love blaster? Blaster. Blaster? It's addicting. I suck at it, though. I hear there's a f final boss, but I've never seen anyone reach it. Bet you could totally kick its butt. Uh, yeah, I have played it, and it's hard. I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. The air pressure seems to have been tampered with or something. Considering this table doubles as the AC, that ain't good news. Out of order. Please stop feeding money. Spend three gold to play. Yes. This is the game they're talking about. <laughs> Mew Mew Love Baster. Mew Mew Love Baster! Okay. Dash to safety. Hold to go further. A in direction. Give it your all. Shoot. Hold. Okay. Avoid sadness. Spread the joy. Oh, hey. 
What the heck? How do you avoid that? Well, at least I made it to the boss that time. Last time I played this, I didn't even make it to that boss. Well, that was fun. Hey, dude, I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it, you already read my side, didn't you? I hate myself. No, don't bother asking. I'm going to shop, okay? This was a dumb idea. Even if you did hug me, which would be sick, I'd probably kill you. Not intentionally, of course. I'd be a crime. I hate crime. Oh, great. You might be a criminal, and now, now you definitely won't hug me. <laughs> Just walk away. It would be better for both of us. So, a hug? Bro, you need to learn when to let go. If you won't leave me alone, the hugs are no longer free. In fact, they're very expensive hugs. Whatever amount of money you own, they're like triple that. I'm honestly not sorry. Wow, okay. Bake sale, bake sale. Come eat food made by spiders, horse spiders, oh spiders. Oh, proceeds go to spiders in need. Will you buy a spider now for so gold? Yes. Yeah, a spider don't. I'm trying to realize halfway through that I should be doing like a really high pitched voice because it's a little tiny bug. You're most gracious. Have a nice day. Uh, some kind of ancient description, but it looks like hopscotch. The sapling sits within the ground, new to life and unsure of itself. It is full of potential, but it has yet to reach it. One day it might. Okie dokie, artichokey. Triplets. Uh. Sorry, I'm not. <laughs> Me. <laughs> you have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Cause you know what time it is? Mail time, mail time. Here's your mail. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. As for me, I must set sail. There's so much to see in this town. I'm getting some strong honeydew resort vibes. After I get tired of keeping the peace every day, I wait. I may move here. Mighty fine retirement plan, yeah. I forgot you could talk to it. Martlet while you're with her using that. To our latest shuffles recruit, Toast here. Oh, Toast. Is he the leader or is he one of the... I don't remember. Whatever. I guess this is the leader. There's, there's someone out in the wild that we forgot to warn you about. This scruffy fellow with a blue hat. Don't interact with him or support his endeavors. I won't tell you why, because... This letter reads way cooler as a mystery. Now, I'll let Swig finish this. He gets upset when he misses out on writing letters. Yeah, upset, Swig. Okay. Ooh, oh, hey, Clover. Remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? <laughs> That's her. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, blah, 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 blah. You still think I'm... Your captain did explain to you I'm not a human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just thought you... No, no, I'm sorry. I just get it often. It's totally fine. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. N not that you're a grumpy monster. I'm sure you're very nice. Ahem. Anyway, what's your name? It's Clover. Uh, no, not you, silly. Her. I... Actually, how about Red? That's what your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. To be honest... I hoped that eventually I'd be caught enough and that you'd all recognize me and then to stop. It might just be wiser to join the guard at this point. Join? That would be fantastic! I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job. You could even help me build puzzles. That might be a code violation now that I think about it. Ah, it's fine. What? It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join. We'll figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to, but I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh, you're serious. Uh, I mean, uh, sure? Sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya! Alright, let's go. Onward, to this way land of over here's will. And other places. Sorry buddy, this path was blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Girl boss behavior. Hey, little fellow, there ain't nothing to see here. Last I checked, anyway. Maybe one day there'll be a great treasure line beyond my hot bob. <laughs> but as of right now, there's only hot bobs. Mag. 
stone bathing is a delicate process. The more you make me flap my lips, the more uneven my tan will be. At this rate, I'm going to be a whole ass gradient. <laughs> yeah, Flowey won't talk to you if you're with another person. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, I left all my gold at home. Would you let me one? Yes. Thank you. Hmm. I wish. The clover will make it back home safely. Now you have me and a wish on your side. Thanks, Smartlet. Dan's wishing well. Hold a G close to your chest, think of what you want most, and toss it in. You never know. If something if so, if enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. See, an oak face with iron nails holding it together. Oh, sorry, I was leaning out for a second. Sure, it's a cool wagon. I love how Martlet does the Naruto run. That's great. You don't really see it if you go on this way or that way, though. It's just funny. Okay. Oh boy, there's gonna be so much talking. <coughs> Excuse me. Just preparing myself. Huh? Hang on. I think someone's coming this way. Guys, guys, looky here. Someone has stumbled in someone has stumbled into an humble town. This, this better not be another joke. For once, don't look like it is. Hi, strangers. Oh, hello. We're just passing through. We mean no harm, I promise. That's what the last guy said. Let's just say he's one he's one with the wind now. Oh my gosh, you... <laughs> I'm just kidding around. You were shaking in your boots for a second. <laughs> you sure got me. That wasn't very funny, Edward. I can tell you, we are a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. I... Ugh. Why do you... Why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps the bounds. Never! Oh, well, it was a pleasure to meet you for, but we'll be going now. Hold it right there, missy! I think this guy's my favorite character in the game. Are my pals giving you trouble? Come on, now. That ain't a way to treat guests now, is it? The name's Nullstar. I'll run this town. Not alone, of course. These fine monsters are my posse. Together we are... The Feisty Five. <laughs> Our name stands for Fearlessness. Excellence. Intuition. Sneakiness. Toughness. Usefulness. Justice. The J is silent. Anyway, now that we're introduced, I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hey, hold on. Your buddy. Are they a human? Um, well, I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind that this kid is a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta see this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Hey, it fits me, that kid. Sure thing. <laughs> Squeaky toy noise. And then look, look at Clover's face there. It's so funny. Wait, what are you doing with Clover? Uh, Clover, is it? That's a modified name. To answer your question, Feathers, Clover and I got a town to run. Don't Feathers me. You're speaking to Martlet of the Royal Guard. I can and will report you to King Ascor for this abrasive behavior. You Royal Guard? That's funny, because I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor? Weapon? Badge? I I left it all in my, in my post in Snowden. Please. Hold on a second. Please. Please, don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I am truly sorry about this. I really am. But business is business. Together, we'll be the five to six. The alliteration. Shh. Clover, I can't go up against these guys. Don't worry, I'll figure this out. Sigh, should we really be doing this? Poor Martlet is upset. Don't be a buzzkill. Don't be a buzzkill, Moray. When's the last time? Sorry, there's no list for Mooch. <laughs> When's the last time? 
When's the last time something exciting happened around here? He's got a point. Ahem. This town's full of excitement, especially now. Let's go, bud. Oh, and feathers. Welcome to the Wild East. Welcome to the Wild East. There we go. Baki, growlers of ice water for the house on the sheriff. I have an announcement to make. <sighs> this little fella is Clover. Hey, Star, what the hell are you doing bringing a human around here? A human in here. Cerebra, hush. Now I, kn now I know what y'all thinking. But trust me, Clover right here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that hat. <laughs> Actually, this could be fun. Dina, hit me. I gave Sarah there a southern accent. I'm pretty sure she's not supposed to have one <laughs> after finishing the game. So that's that's a thing that I did. <laughs> All right, no more heckling from the crowd. Ahem. Ladies and gentle monsters, as Sarah said, Clover is a human. Ooh. I know, I know, exciting stuff, a real honor. Now, I would I would let Clover tell you all about their life, but I've been studying up. I'm a bit of a human expert, if you didn't know. Oh, great, here we go. Here we go, indeed. Did you know that monsters use mon- Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? Ooh, it's true. Large, four-legged monsters. They put a seat on top of them and everything. They call them horses, Star. <laughs> Ah, so you know him personally. That's quite impressive. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Did you also know that humans are fireproof? When they're feeling accomplished, they ride monsters straight into a huge <laughs> fire sphere. <laughs> so, the monsters burn, right? The monsters burn, right? Most monsters aren't fireproof. Star, are you saying that my friend Horses was killed by a fiery sphere? No, um, well, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Clover. Did the monsters die? Yes, no. See? Everyone's fireproof. Anyways, did you know that? Wait. Look, Star, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true. Every word. Ha! I knew it. I'm pretty darn good, aren't I? You're the best. Yeah, only share for me. Aha! Well, I reckon we're done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives for now. As for you, Clover, it's about time that you see what this town has to offer. I would give you a personal tour, but if there's one thing you have, have where you come from, it's freedom. Take your time exploring. Talk to the townsfolk and enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shout when you're ready to start training. Okie dokie, buddy. Hungry. No stars. No stars the coolest. One time a construction team was demo demolishing a building in a new home. But uh oh, an infant. But uh oh, an infant was in the way of the building as it came crashing down. Suddenly, North Star appeared and wound his lasso up. He wrangled that skyscraper without breaking a sweat. Yeehaw, yeehaw! For saving his life, the, one the building gave North Star one million gold. True story, true story. Excuse me. Bob, love, love, howdy, human. What an introduction, rat. Hope you didn't have any stage rat. They just can be scared. Oh, wouldn't. Occasionally making faces at you. What do you want? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. <clears throat> My life's a wreck. Wasted, woeful, washed up. I was supposed to make it big. I was gonna be a big time producer. You know, show business. I can tell you where it went wrong. I studied hard. I graduated middle school. What else do you need? Snuck my way into gig booking at a joint in Hotland with p potential in my eyes. One day, this robot fella rolled up to me and asked if I've ever produced an artist. Now, I'm a great producer. Make hot beats on my computer every weekend. I had the talent, but I lacked the vision. I told that one wheel television. <laughs> oh, he's talking about Metaton. They wouldn't make it in the industry. What an idiot I was. They got. They soon got into following and totally exploded. Not literally, maybe. Look, kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes it's like we don't control our lives. Fate has a cool way of teaching us lessons. Have a little foresight and try not to grow arrogant like I did. Don't you forget that. The saloon isn't always as crowded. It's happy hour, you see. Half-price drinks. 
But you know, but you don't know that, so they'll continue to sell you bullpen strings. You see, you sense cannibalistic intent. Oh boy. I'll come, up, I'll come right out and say it. Yes, I don't think it. I came free with the last sip in the bottles. You're clever, am I right? You're nervous come up once or twice? Hmm? You look confused. Alright, I'm not rhyming. Yeah, that's just a company policy. It gets a little tiresome sometimes. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great job. I'm a trader for the world. I'm a little worried, though. These days, those fancy cell phones are all the rage. I don't know how long the mail service will... Oh me, oh my, my breaks come to an end. See you next time there's letters to send. <sighs> Alrighty. Um, several monsters are enjoying a nice fair game of poker. How do I keep losing? Things are heating up. It could be anyone's game. Shucks. I might have to take out a loan if I keep if I want to keep this up. Looks like we have a winner. Well played and well well paid, boys. Howdy, howdy, human. Thank you, Gander, at my wares. Odd hitting stuff is off limits. Five. Adult soda. Heels? No way. Here's the menu. Icy slider. No 30 HP. No 18 HP. No 15 HP. Ice water is 15 gold and not free. Okay. Oh, this little place? It's pretty fun around here. I heard it was established some years back when the Dunes gained its name, if you get me. I should be polished on its history, but still don't talk about those days. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my brewing skills, so here I am. There ain't terribly really much to do in this town, but that only makes it more close-knit. Every day has been pretty predictable until you showed up. <laughs> I'm eager to see what Sai's planning. Your snakes. Huh, I get this question a lot. These fellas are my pets. Re Real reptiles, not monsters. Their names are Anne, Sammy, and Buck. The underground still houses some critters from the surface, like birds and insects. I found these woods are here, hiding in the crevice of sorts. Some monsters keep, think keeping pets is strange, but I think it's cute. They, gi they give me someone to talk to when business is slow. Can I leave? You can at any time, won't hurt my feelings. Oh, I see. Stop's trying to keep you here since it's a big deal and all. That ain't right if you're wanting to go. I try not to infringe on share goodness, but I'll ask him about it soon. I'm sure he means well by it, Northstar. What a character! A big and courageous sheriff. I get a feeling he ain't as tough as he likes to play up. But then again, maybe he's just clumsy. His whole posse is a hoot. They frequently host parties here. He definitely knows the right kind of monster to surround himself with. Not to mention Sarava, his childhood friend. I get a kick out of her and his size antics. When she brings her daughter into town, it's basically two against one, ha ha. Now to think about it, it's been a while since I, the last time I saw the rascal. We need to get the whole gang together again. Alright. <sighs> you there. You there. Human. You okay? Yeah. Really? Well, alright then. I apologize for Star's antics. He's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it is quite unbelievable. A few humans have wandered into the underground before, but they never set foot on these sands. All that to say, I'm glad you did. My name is Saraba. I'm a friend of Star's, but not part of his posse. They're a bit too rowdy for my taste. May I ask your name? Clover. Welcome to the underground, Clover. Your attire is surprising, I must say, but um, I won't press you on the matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into his activities for a while. You must have places to go, correct? The castle, the barrier. You probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ecstatic in some time. Maybe you should entertain him a bit, roll with his punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to leave. I know of a safe path to Hotland through there. Ah, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Talk to you later, Clover. It was nice to meet you. God, that was so weird saying those lines I said before and speaking as her without the accent. I'll get used to it. Howdy! Gee, seems seems like my greeting seems like my greeting has found its home. Like the hat, it's a disguise. This area is pretty populated, so I picked this up to be safe. You being you being separated from Martlet is pretty lucky, but I hope this star guy doesn't hold you here for long. I may have to intervene if he does. All right, so we got quite a bit to explore, but not too much. 
giant lock preventing rack that kind of overkill. Oh, Mike, let's discard it. Looks expensive. Let's visit uh, this place first. Got junk? Sell it right here at Blackjack. Today's special. Fancy holster. Great, great for defense. So this necklace. Broken but dazzling necklace. Can't be worn but could be worth something. So we can just sell that necklace I guess. Because I couldn't find anything else to do with it last time I played. So, Greetings. Take a gander. Just don't touch anything. Thank you. I will make good use of this. What do you got? Wild revolver. You're too young. Hands <laughs> turn. Eight defense. Made from leather. Only crafted ammo. You know, I actually might need the uh, silver ammo. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Not the ammo, but fancy holster. Yeah, just give it to me. Wait, did I get the right thing? Okay, good. The five to five. I was hoping you wouldn't ask. Hold on, old man, old man, old man. Ugh. I was hoping you wouldn't ask about them. Sigh, sigh. <laughs> Young hooligans are all they are. Hooligans, I'm forced to put up with to keep my business afloat. They have no respect for the fine arms I produce. Oh, produce! I always waving them around like they're some child's toy. However, I have learned how to benefit off their behavior. I'm the only monster around that pr provides such quality weapons, so whenever they push me, I push back and threaten to close shop. They always crumble and end up paying far more, we far more than the weapon they want is worth. A little mu- Oh, he probably shouldn't have it high-pitched. Hold on. A little- Uh, well, whatever, because if I do it lower-pitched, it's gonna sound like Starlo. <sighs> a little money is worth a few headaches, haha. Uh -huh. Ah, yes, my gallery of babies. Oh, that's better. Oh, that sounds strange. Uh -huh. These beauties are all crafted from the highest quality materials. I forge them myself in my personal gunsmithing room. Not only do I make them with care, I also make it, I also care for them. I stop my mornings by polishing the whole stock until I see my reflection in them. I also know how to handle these bad boys. I'm a way better shot than North Star, that's for sure. That's for sure. I, I saw a bandit in my rafters. Visitors. The wild east gets many visitors each day. There's something about the aura here that some monsters can't get enough of. Now, don't worry. I'm not selling ultra deadly weapons to any passerby with enough G. I make sure my wares are tame enough to not be lethal. I myself am not one for violence. Well, use enough times consecutively. They could be lethal, but then again, a ballet she could also be lethal <laughs> used enough times. Look, don't question my morality too much. I'm not prepared to speak about it. I heard about this new town this town some years back. I had mastered my smithing capabilities and was looking to open up shop. As it turns out, there was an empty building here, so I thought, why not? Seemed like quite the perfect town for such a shop. I regret settling down here, resulting in endless torment from five demonic youngsters every day. <laughs> But everyone else I've met is quite pleasant, so it balances out. Okay. Talk to you later. Howdy. You got any of that? Any of that good captain? I've been trying to try some. That's what I would say if I were a dirty bandit. Yeah, <laughs> you almost tricked. I could have caught you and got turned you into the five to five. Yeah, <laughs> be more careful, partner. <laughs> okay. I drink some soda. <clears throat> Hey, I I don't know I don't know if I gotta do my own voice, but it's a southern accent for this guy. I think his name is Ace. I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a fun card game set up in the stable. My friend runs it while I oversee the profits. You should try it out. Nay, nay, nay! I say, for I am a horse each and every day. 
a Crunchabon character and Munchabon hay. But a shy horse I am, so please go away. <coughs> Excuse me. Greetings. May I interest you in a game of six shooter? It is a simple card game with a matching variety. It costs three gold to play with a potential profit. Intrigued? Sure. I will explain its rules, so listen carefully. A stack of 36 cards will be split into 20, then laid on the table separately. There are six card types, each with a different familiar face. You must match cards with the same face, but only if they are touching. Once two are matched, they will be removed from the grid. Two more cards from the reserved 16 card deck will replace them. Your goal is to empty the table by matching every card. If you win in under 45 seconds, you will be rewarded 25 gold. Under a minute, and you will be rewarded 15 gold. Any time after that will allow you to break even with 3 gold. If the deck is empty, and there are no possible matches left, you will lose with no reward. Do you understand? Let's let us play. This game is actually a lot easier than he's... than the rules make it sound. Okay. But I only played this once and I lost, so... Yeah. Let's try to start from the bottom. We can't. Oh wait, yes we can. I tried. <laughs> a shame. Would you like to play again? No, I'm good. Very well. But you can win 80 gold, right? We'll try one more time, just because of that. I think he's at 80 gold. These are going to be the ones we wind up with. Uh, and they're all separated, so it's like we've already lost. Unless we can get eight? Nope. I can't just quit either. I can already. What the heck, man? I totally get why you'd be upset, but I can explain, I think. See, she is a royal god. If she is a royal god, that would cause problems. She threatened to report Star to King Asgore. One thing leads to another and the wild ether is in flames. Well, maybe. I'm sure Asgore would understand, but there are others. The head of the royal god, particularly. Hopefully he didn't have a run in his head. I mean, I never met her. I just heard me look alike. You gotta get me out of here, kid. I have a family, hopes, dreams, TV shows I'm missing. I didn't do nothing bad, I swear. Clover! I knew I could count on you. So, me getting out of here. Any luck? No, sorry. It's okay, I knew it would be difficult. This is infuriating. Anyway, that sheriff, North Star, was it? What a jerk! I tried to fight for you, I really did. His hooligans were too strong and tossed me in here. 
Knowing that, I don't think force will do too much good. There's gotta be a level-headed monster around here. One that, one that knows this is unjust will free me. When that time comes, I'll... I'll... Who am I kidding? I couldn't press charges or anything. I talk big, but we're cornered. Ask or another guard finding out about you would be the end. <sighs> well, Northstar seems pretty enthusiastic about all of this. Maybe by playing along, you can gain his favor and set me free. I don't know, just play it cool for now. I'll be here. <sighs> what a day. Sorry, Marlet, <laughs> but you will get up soon. It's all structure carrying, mostly purified water. It's good to stay hydrated. Hiya! <laughs> Hiya! Swell job sitting on that stool. I have a feeling you'll be the talk of the town. We're gonna have so much fun training together. <laughs> anyway, see you later. This town is quite the spectacle, is it not? Aha! I would bury myself in the sand if I could, yep yep. I wasn't lying about being close to an exit earlier. I just didn't expect all of this. On the bright side, you may be able to obtain some gear upgrades here. This, this roadblock isn't totally pointless, haha. Huh? The music changed. A little bit. The closet with some cleaning supplies inside. They all look brand new. You don't know what you're looking at, but it's probably dangerous. The nap sounds nice. Take it anywhere but here. The drawers are filled with clean ish sheets and pillowcases. <laughs> Hello! I'm here for the Fleet Wally Pops. <laughs> After I checked myself in, the doc said he ran out of Wally Pops yesterday. Bummer. At least I ha have this fluffy vent to cheer me up. Several odd smells seep from the dresser. You decide not to inspect it further. Welcome to the Wild East Clinic. We put the hospital in hospitality. They call me the doc. Are you sick? Hurt? What is your diagnosis? Uh... Ah, a shower one. No problem. I have just the boost you need. For an upfront price of 30 gold, I can overcharge your health. It is an experimental medicine, but who said I was qualified? What do you say? Sure. Come close and I'll begin the procedure. Hmm, I see. A little bit of this, and done. You gain plus 15 extra HP. When the energy wears off, it's gone for good. You can always visit me again for more, but only one at a time. Uh, yeah, okay. I didn't get the... Didn't get to read the last part of that. Howdy! Thanks, Fly, for not rambling that time. Oh, boy. Hey, kid. Sorry for being so forceful earlier. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. This whole thing snuck up on us, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. There's a hole in the floor. How comfy. You turn the TV on. This is your favorite channel. <laughs> a couch not unfit for a thrift store. These cramped living conditions are bringing back unpleasant memories. You push the hammock. Its sway is hypnotizing. A surprisingly clean kitchen. Impressive. Weird. I haven't seen any cats around. A few videotapes with custom labels stuck on them. My favorite movie, smiley face. My second favorite movie, smiley face. Don't watch this one, sad face. Huh. Okay then. A target with darts of various shapes and sizes stuck into it. Press on the mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. <laughs> so soft! Some kind of berry plant. You notice a few berries are missing. A firm sleeping bag sits in the corner, threatening to restrict free sleepers. I think that's about it in there. Not, not to brag, but I'm basically Star's right-hand man. I'll do all the heavy lifting around here. Star just asks nicely and off I go. We think that a cool relationship. No comment. Howdy! Alright, I think we're ready to continue onward with the plot. Hello, no star. Are you ready to begin? Did you talk to the townsfolk? Explore every nook and cranny? You're gonna need it if you wanna be a good deputy. That's right, kid. I'm heavily considering you for my coveted sidekick position. 
Now, don't get too high minded just yet. To be a deputy, you gotta know how to wrangle the horses. Me and my posse are gonna show you how it's done around here. I wouldn't drag anyone off the road and give them special treatment. You have to prove your gunslinging skills to me. That being said, let's go meet up with the others. Okay. All right, everyone, come here. <laughs> What you want, boss? Ew, are we going to begin training with Clover? Precisely, Moray. I thought we'd start with a classic game that involves pacing. You, you mean what I see you doing every night outside the house? Back and forth, whispering to yourself? What? I don't do that. Some monsters have unique ways of getting their, their thoughts out. Other monsters. Ahem. Can anyone correctly guess what game I'm hitting at? Oh, oh, I, oh, uh, oh, oh, I know. Yes, Mooch. A duel. Bingo. Mission one. Dangerous duel. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is all wrong. Oh, what's, oh, what's the matter? Clover doesn't look right. Look at the hat. It's tattered and practically decomposing. And that iron on the holster. Iron in the holster. What's, what kind of pea shit is that? Cooler days. I'm, I'm sure they tried their best. No, Ace has a point. What kind of host am I if I don't spoil you with gifts? To the weapon stall. Mission 1. X. Just to impress? <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course. Old Blackjack doesn't like doing business with me. I often borrow his wares and, uh, break or lose them. <laughs> Open up, Blackjack. Don't make me use force. I make the law so I can legally shoot down your doors. Get off my property, no stop. I told you I wouldn't even sell you a gumball. Oh, come on, partner. I don't even know what a gumball is. And those last transactions were ages ago. I'm a changed monster. You like... <laughs> You lost one of my premium revolvers last week while frolicking in your sandstorm and whatnot. Look, I promise this is a different scenario, Jack. I won't even I won't even step inside. You can meet me out here. Dot dot dot. Don't worry, Clover. He's coming. Make it speedy. Of course, sir. I was just gonna ask you to sell a gun to this child. I worded that porter. Hold on. This ain't a child, you see. I was joking. They're just a very small but very tough monster. Oh. I'll give you 400 gold. Well, why didn't you open with that kind, patron? Come inside with me and I'll fetch the paperwork. See, I had it under control. Wait over here, Clover. Excuse me. Probably owes him a lot more than 400 gold, and he's just like, okay, that sounds great. <laughs> done and done. Can I get a yeehaw? Right, moving along. Let's see what you got. Take this trusted six shooter as a gift from me. You got a wild revolver. Carefully aim at the dummy and take your shot. Don't worry, it ain't, it ain't alive or nothing. Sand covers the dummy. Might a fine job. Give it another go. There you go. One more. Not nice shooting. I'd say you're natural. I say it's screwed up. I'm impressed, kid. You definitely passed this part of training. I gotta go tell Sarah about this. She's a big doubter when it comes to you. Let's ride on. Sarah Bo, guess what just happened? You locked up another royal guard against their will? Hey, 
know this was a serious roadblock to all of this. It's only a temporary solution. I don't feel right doing it, I swear. I'm just giving you a hard time. Oh, sorry. I'm just giving you a hard time. What did you want to tell me? Oh, well, Clover just passed the first round of training. They are quite the sharpshooter. Almost as good as me. Really, a child. Now, now, don't disrespect the kid. Clover can hold their own and then some. I know, I'm just very impressed. Oh, hey, I almost forgot about the hat. I have a spare somewhere in my house. Clover, wait here while I fetch it. Maybe while they wait, you should get to know them, Sarah. Bye. Should be fun, right? Sure. Sounds good. Be right back, partner. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Tell me, truly, are you into all this? Yeah! That's nice. I've never understood it. I said nah last time, but I'm kind of like having a good time this time. But if it makes monsters like Star happy, it's fine. This whole thing is like a dream to him. It's kind of goofy, but it is nice to see someone so passionate. However, passion can only go so far. You wouldn't believe how much his parents talk to me about it. Really kind folks who own a farm up north. It's actually very lush there, if you can believe it. And the corn they grow? So good! They used to give my husband, Chujin, baskets full every week. Every other week. Anyway, I trailed off. Where was I? I'm back! Turns out I had one just... Turns out I had one just your size and in the same color. It's like Destiny or something. Here! You got a nice hat. It looks the same, basically. Wow! I, could, I couldn't even tell a change if I was standing from afar. Looks great! What do you think, Sarah? It's nice. Isn't it? Well, I'd say this mission was a great success. Go on and take a break, Clover. I'll be waiting for you. I mean, I'll go save, but then I'll be right back. Howdy! Break time's over. Howdy, howdy, Clover. Ready for round two? Yes. Swell. Seeing as the original plans were altered, we got catching up to do. Let's gather the others. Group up, everyone. Getting a bit of deja vu here. As you should, buddy. Thanks to Ace's keen eye for fashion, we took a little detour. Great job there. Thank you, Star. Clover looks much better now. I agree. Clover, Clover's looking like a real wrangler. For sure! That new gun is awfully shiny. I had to shake Mr. Blackjack down for it. I was real tough too. Put old Jack in his place I did. You could have you could have sent me in to get it. You know I'm the best negotiator. We might bend the rules a bit, but we ain't bandits. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Let's get to the mission. Let's get to the mission already. Right, y'all, yeah, Ed. What other mission would it be than the one we skipped before? Get ready, Clover. It's time for us to do all. You mean duel? <laughs> That's what I said. Why is it so hard to do aces? <laughs> No, he... Oh, what, what, what? <laughs> no, you pronounce it with wa instead of ooze, instead of a ooze sound. Boss, you have been, have you been skipping cowboy grammar class? Duel, duel, who cares? Tomato, potato and all that. Y'all need to, y'all need to quit interrupting me so often. Upset, upsets for frontiers in. Where was I? Oh yeah, it's time to do, participate in a care for the time shooting competition. Mooch, provide Clover with a designated tool. Here's a BB gun for the duel. I'll uh, take your six shooter off your hands for now. Mooch, bring the gun here. That's what. That's what I was gonna do, Moray. Get off my back, will you? All right, it's finally time to go head to head. Wait, what is it, Ace? What could possibly be so pressing to interrupt the mission again? You forgot the safety glasses. Gee, boss, you could have hurt Clover. Right. I take responsibility and apologize for the oversight. Bring the glasses here. I want the pair with the blue flames. 
Red flash, flash of the Here. Yeah. <laughs> okay then. Now we're in business. Now we're in business. All right, Aklova. We're gonna take ten pieces and turn to face each other. When you hear the draw sound, grab your gun and shoot me as fast as you can. Here we go. I was prepared that time. I messed it up last time I did this. I had to do it over. Stop! Stop! Are you okay? Pretty much the opposite of that. Oh, Star, I'm so sorry. Who, who will give you your inheritance? Who will you give your inheritance to? Not you. <laughs> Heck. <laughs> Clover, this was your emotional trauma test. This job ain't all swelter stones and rainbows, you understand? You might end up hurting someone who must carry that weight on your back and must carry that weight on your back. Hope I didn't scar you. Anyway, you pass. I'll be waiting in the saloon again when you're ready for mission three. I'm seeing good things in you, kid. Okay. Here's your... Here's your... Here's your iron. Also, I'll be needing those glasses. I don't know why it's so hard to do Ace, like, go back to my normal voice, but use do my normal voice with a southern accent after... It's just like... It's weird, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, I don't want the bell, I want Cloudy. Howdy! Hello! No, that's British. I'm Ace. I'm trying to practice. I'm Ace. Oh, I'm Ace. No, that's Australian. What the hell? Whatever. I love this place. <laughs> it has a great sense of community. That's, there's not much like it anywhere else. There's not much like it anywhere else. Okay, so I'll just talk normal, and then I'll talk like this, and then there we go. That's Ace. All right, we got it. <laughs> There's a new friend to make every time Every time I go outside. Never too many friends for old Cooper. Let's see, knows. Hello, Foreman. Hello. Aren't you a bit young to be... Aren't you a bit young to be hanging around here? Not to judge you or anything. I'm, I forgot what his voice was. I'm in town visiting my little moray. My lovely wife, Angie, is, is running the mines while I'm away. Not sure how efficient my boys will be without me there, though. Uh, it's a risk worth taking. Welcome back, partner. We're about halfway done with your training. I grow up so fast. Ready to continue? Follow me. You know the drill, team. Ain't no time to be lazing around. <laughs> uh, hello? Where is everyone? <laughs> Sorry about this, Clover. They should be here any second. Star, what is happening on the west end of town? Would you care to explain? What? Is anyone in danger? Well, no, probably not. They are? By George, this must be an attack from Vengeful Virgil. Vengeful Virgil? Who's that? Cereba, calm down. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. Cereba, come on. We drew the redrew his wanted poster last month. It's on the news board. You helped me find the thumbtacks and everything. Um. Oh, yeah. Well, you better go stop him then. What are you waiting for? That's the spirit. Let's put a stop to this, Clover. Mission three. Question, 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 question mark. The pizza got faster. Huh. You sure you saw something troubling here? Look down. Gas. Gas. Hey, I did not sign up for this. Get me out of here. Hey, keep it down. I need to focus. How in the heck will I solve this colossal conundrum? Disentie them. And risk being tricked into a booby trap? Touching those ropes is exactly what Virgil wants. What? This is scary, Star. I'm afraid you must choose which track the tra train travels on. Yeah, choose it! Mooch, you are dead to me. Unless Star chooses you instead. That's cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is all too overwhelming. I can't do it. Then, then have then have, then have Clover choose. Of course, Clover don't have no emotional attachment to y'all. Should be simple. Don't you think this is a bit much? No, it's easy. Choose to leave the track as is. It won't be your fault if but many monsters get hit. Choose to change the track. It'll be by your hand, but only Ed gets it. Not much of a sacrifice. What did I do to deserve this? We're out of time. If only we could have untied everyone. If only. <laughs> you gotta choose now, Clover. Um. Sorry, Ed. <laughs> Oof. Clover, how could you? Was this about me carrying you earlier? Did I hurt you? Now, now, in defense of Clover, they just saved many lives. I guess that's true. Clover proved that they were willing to sacrifice to be a hero. Quite noble, don't you think, Sarah? There's a lot of layers to this scenario. I believe it's more of a... Quite noble indeed. This was a test of your judgment. I'd say you passed, buddy. I'll be in the usual spot for your final task. So, uh, see you around. Okay. Hey, is anyone is anyone going to tie us? <laughs> I find the fight mechanic in this game really interesting. It makes me want to, somewhere down the road, try out the neutral route, at least. Okay. Okay. My patience is only so strong, but obviously I'll feel it for you guys if I do that. My patience... Um, howdy. Okay, my patience is only so strong, Clover. I hope you're not planning to actually stay here. These boulders are below you. I highly suggest that you make a run for it when the time's right. Try not to let yourself get distracted from the real mission. Yeah, okay. Let's go see how Marlon's doing. I managed to doze off for a moment earlier. I had a dream I was back in my Snowden post. Dozing off. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a lazy bird. Being a royal guard is no easy task. Calibrating puzzles, writing writing status reports, guarding outposts, <coughs> outposts, getting yelled at by an old lady for ruining the Snowden Bridge. Whoops, I'm trailing off again. <laughs> I really need to get out soon. At this rate, I'll start talking to myself. More than usual, anyway. Wall. Wall, 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 wall. You guys ever watch a regular show? Everyone's wrapped up in conversation. Quite the popular spot. I think I mentioned that episode before in another video. I'll, I'll elaborate in a few minutes if I remember. Howdy! Man, am I excited for this? Have you done everything you wanted? Caught some bandits? Saved some lives? Yes. Let's get going then. Final call! Get on over here. Are y'all ready? Actually, there's something we wanted to talk about. Yeah, about the general work environment. Maybe later. Let's keep moving. So Clover, I actually tricked you. There is no fourth mission. Well, there used to be, but we cut it out of the regiment. Anyway, you passed everything. You are now the proud deputy of this fine town. Hey, deputy? I... <laughs> I thought this was, this was a normal... This was for a normal spot on the team. Oh, it's too special and skilled for a normal spot. Star, this star, this is highly fair. Life ain't always easy. Life ain't always fair in the wild east, bucko. They passed that training like anyone else. That was training. We barely did anything. That last mission was especially, especially was awful. Calm down, will you? You're killing my good mood. I have to run to the mines to get Clover's badge made. I was too busy with everything that had slipped my mind. You five have fun. I'll be right back. Alright. This is just Peachy. You getting this attention and all? How come you waltz in here and start instantly makes you deputy? We didn't get this kind of treatment. We had to go through weeks of lasso lessons. Lessons were short. For me to become part of the team, Star made me walk around the snake in my boot whip for a week. It was rubber, but the rashes it gave me were unbearable. Yeah, and he, yeah, and he made me pickpocket monsters by the oasis. Oh man, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Did you guys hear my stomach rumble? Star didn't make you do that. Smiley face. 
You know what? This ain't fair to any of us. Clover needs a challenge. Clover needs a challenge. We need to see if they're truly worthy of joining our squad. Finally, some real excitement. Five to four, here we come. Time to get feisty. Steady, smart, distract. You hold your ground while the chaos unfolds around you. So, you're the new deputy, eh? Then you shouldn't have a problem told in this. Before I decide who attacks next. You fire your gun at the bell. You hear a nice ring. Hello, Clover. I'm very sorry about this, but I've been bored all day. Ow. Smells like teamwork. Good luck! That was the hardest one. Quit hogging Clover! It's my time to shine! Oh. Ace is super easy and like for some reason, Mooch is really hard. Mooch is actually kind of hard. More aliens on head to rest up. That's for the train insults. Mooch. Oh, Mooch. Yeah, that was Mooch. Okay. Let's see if you can pass around too, kid. Oh no. How do you dodge that? This is practicing sleight of hand. Nice, nice attack, Edward. You're doing, good, you're doing a good job for work, Clover. Ready for this? Oh god. Oh, still blue, okay. You smirk at the Vor's antics. They're trying. Now, now. Now, now. Now, now. Quit holding back, everyone. Use your trump cards. I guess if I'm not actively using my normal voice, I forget. I just, I'm not, I don't even think about it. So it's like, what? I forget how it goes. <laughs> uh, my turn, my, oh. My turn. My turn, my turn. There we go. Ah, oh, shit, I'm getting hit. More aliens on Andrew. Stop. <laughs> More right. Let's. Sorry. More right. Let's team up for a check. Ah, I would be Alan. Go away, cars. How's the fist go? Trampoline. Sir, Mooch? Of course I'll help you, Ace! Don't be so kind next time! <laughs> Smells like teamwork. We ain't done yet! Get ready for my strongest attack- Hey! Oh man. What in the actual gosh darn tarnation is happening here? 615. We we felt your train was like luster. So we gave Clover a real challenge. I'm disappointed in you for eight weeks of license for this? I ought to lock you away with feathers. Star, what's going on? You've been different. A real meanie. It, it's, tr it's true. This hasn't been any fun. What are y'all blabbering about? This is the most alive this town has ever been. Why does everything have to be a spectacle, huh? I miss the old North Star, the fearless leader, the monster who could make their own fun, in, the monster who could make their own fun in the little things. This new star is selfish and reckless. 
Or should I call you by your real name? Should I? Stalo? Why you? What's with all the shouting? What's happening? It seems my pasta don't respect me no more. It's not that. We just want we just want you to take it down a notch. You can't just throw us around for this human business. That isn't what friends do, Star. I know what all this is about. Y'all are just full of envy, overflowing with it. Clover shot circles around you, and you just can't accept it. Clover has nothing to do with this. It's you. N no, Star's totally right. Clover's super skilled at everything. In fact, I think they could carry the whole squad on their own. Who needs us when you got a powerhouse deputy? What are you saying? I'm saying that I'm done. I resign from the Five to Five, okay? Really now? It'll still be the Five to Five without you, so go ahead. Uh, uh, I'm leaving too. I don't want to work under a big-headed sheriff. <laughs> Seems like life dealt you a bad hand, Star. I'm following them. <laughs> Sorry, Star. Please work on yourself. Forgiveness is only one apology away. Fine. I was considering firing y'all anyway. Sarah, but you understand, right? They're being ridiculous. Starlo. They're right. You have changed a lot from the monster I once knew. I tried to brush it off as you having fun at first, but this Wild East thing was, has damaged your personality. I want to see the real Starlow. That's no star to you. Womp, womp, womp. Well, everyone is gone. I got no posse, no friends. I, I need to think. I can fix this. I was afraid things would escalate. Nothing you're not fully used to by now. This is probably a good time to get out of here. It's all gone way too far, don't you think? Whatever happens, I wish you luck, Clover. Oh man. We're almost done finally. I kinda overheard what happened outside. Ugh. I know I shouldn't feel this way, but. Maybe you should go after the sheriff, Clover. I know he did some mean stuff, but he's out there all alone now. You've gained his trust. You've gained his trust, so maybe you could sort out the situation? And, uh, we still need him to get... Let me out of here, of course. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Hey, kid. Sorry about the whole train thing earlier. <laughs> I love playing the villain, but I never considered how the others felt. Maybe in the end, that's what makes me the real villain. Okay. <sighs> no, put the corn dog back. Give me the sponge cake. Whatever. I'll be fine. Alright cars, thank you for going about your day and taking care of business. We all appreciate your hard work today. Let's all be grateful to the people who go to work every day and keep the world running. Howdy! I was hoping Stylo ran to his parents or something. Looks like you'll have to confront him. Do what you do best. I'm always rooting for you. Uh, okay. Why did this happen? I did everything in my power to entertain, so monsters wouldn't have to worry about being stuck down here. At every turn, I tried to cheer Sarah up. I just wanted Conoco off her mind. I'm trying my best to honor her memory. Our distractions what's best for all of that? You. Why'd you follow me? Are you still my friend? Hold on. This all happened after you showed up. It specifically mentioned you as the problem. That's right. I was just being a good friend. I made you who you are and yet this is what I get? 
Let's face facts. I couldn't keep you here even if I wanted to. Word would have gotten out the feathers had clock hadn't clocked in eventually. Feathers. Wait a minute. Royal gods like her have a ton of status. They gain that status by doing the king's work. I'm sure. I'm sure everyone would come back if I did the same. I'd be revered not only in the Wild East, but in the entire underground. I'd... Clover, you've been, an ex you've been an excellent deputy, but... As a lawman, what I'm about to do is embedded in my soul. My true duty. Don't... Don't make this difficult for me. Just hold. Still! I know I'm better than this. A dignified sheriff would face their opponent fairly. However, you're no everyday bandit, so get ready. Showdown. Fight. Chomp and pull up the eyes so it only gets tighter. Huh, you even tied up your skills. I sure have an eye for talent. Charlotte keeps an edge tight. Hey. A steady eye on you. You narrow your eyes and everything becomes letterboxed. Still, part of me wishes things could have stayed the way they were. You squirm inside your leather cage to no avail. Why do you have to step foot in my town? Just a few hours ago, everyone was getting along. Now, well, we're here. The Almighty Sheriff. This is the only way to fix things. The only way I know. Oh shit. How about that? Okay. So yeah. If you're like me and not really great at games, you definitely want to play this on easy. Um, it's it was virtually impossible. I, like I said, I couldn't even get past the first boss when I played this on, on a normal mode. It's just, it's not like, this game is hard. <laughs> it smells like leather boots and dashing ropes. Quit squirming so much. Let me see here. Gotta understand. Okay. I think it's a real six shooter. Come on, give it up already. Fine. I didn't want to do this, but I got no choice. Goodbye, partner. Stay still. I don't want to hit my lasso. Look what you made me do. That lasso is made from premium materials. Aha, we're free. No. No way. Outsmarted by a deputy? At least it's a fair showdown now. Time for a real duel. Duel. Spin your six shooter several times to intimidate Starlow. I'm gonna miss our time together. I mean that. Starlow keeps two steady eyes on you. You take a deep breath and prepare for the next attack. At first, I was truly happy. I thought you were the real deal. Attention in the air grows. It has a distinct flavor of something that was once hot and left to sit, there, sit for too long. It isn't great. I thought that would have given me 15 HP. All the naysayers. Oh, oh, sorry. All the sacrifices. All the naysayers. They didn't. They didn't matter anymore because what I had was special. Oh God. Fuck. 
or the honey to coffee. You can feel your taste buds burning off. It feels like that. But now I've realized the truth. This share of stuff is worthless. He's shooting his own dynamite. That's actually pretty cool. Starlo grinds his deep teeth together in frustration. You should have nasty look at Starla. We all tout justice, but true underground status is only secured through pain. Master Khan's hero is a title soaked in blood. See what I mean? <laughs> I'm doing that with a. I'm doing that with like way lower defense. Man. Hats off to the people who do who are able to play this on normal mode. Because holy crap. In the end, we're nothing but bandits. Holy shit, I'm gonna die, 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 I should heal! Okay. Fellas, left hand is shaking. Sponge cake. You lick the frosting off the sponge. Your mouth feels squeaky clean. Your HP is maxed out. One. I have one left in my chamber. I'll make this count. Fellas, left hand is shaking. Starlo! Stop this right now! Who have you become? Because this sure as hell isn't the Starlo I grew up with. Cerebro! Now's not a good time for this. Don't kick me while I'm down, please. I'm, I'm sorry, Star. I know this is weighing heavily on you, but listen. None of us hate you. The real you. We adore you! What we hate is this false, reckless persona you've created. I have my own baggage. We all do. I don't even know if I have room to say this, but... Bring him back. Bring back the innocent farmer I once knew. I just... wanted to be appreciated. Revered by all. I was trying to provide a slice of the surface where we have none. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not even telling you to quit running the town. Just don't let this identity consume you. It isn't healthy. Farewell. Clover, I'm terribly sorry for attacking you. I do value your friendship and the time we've spent together. You have every right to make fun, but... This is who I really am. I'm not a real sheriff. Just some nobody find me. Don't say that, Star. You may not be a real sheriff, but... You're the best sheriff I've ever known. Yeah, I suppose I am kinda cool. Darn right. <laughs> but... This whole show wasn't only for some personal power trip. Hmm? I also did it, to cheer you up. You might have wanted the old me, but I also wanted the old you, because of... Conoco. I, um... Appreciate that, Star. I... I believe I have business to take care of relating to her. What do you mean? I must, I must tell you something. I suppose Clover should know as well. As much fun, as much fun as it is to have duels and catch bandits, there's a preserving, there's a pressing matter looming over me. Let's go to the old, let's go to the old steamworks gate. We'll speak there. Cereba, come on. I guess you're really part of the team now, Clover. You heard it. Okay, let's go. Blah, 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 blah. Never mind. <laughs> Clover! Clover! <laughs> so I have good news and bad news. I'll start with the good. Turns out the wife of that old friend I told you about is here. Her name is Saraba. You probably met her already now that I think about it. <laughs> she broke my cell lock with a sick magic staff and let me go. I also made sure she wouldn't tell. I also made sure she knew I wouldn't tell Ascor about this. So now that that's taken care of, the bad news. I'm about to go back to- I'm about to go back on my word, sadly. I know I just said I wouldn't leave your side, but then, you know, this crazy detour happened. I also realized I threw my job to the wind to travel with you, but... <clears throat> since the imprisonment- Since the imprisonment took up so much time, I have to go back. If I don't at least clock in, the Gorilla Guard will, glo will grow suspicious. Plus, Ava's total. It was their property. I'll only be gone for a moment to fix my mistakes. Sarah but encouraged this decision, so don't worry. She told me she would 
she told me she would accompany you on the journey to Hotland. So hey, it all works out. Again, I'm so, 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 so sorry about this, but I'll see you later. Okay, now that should be it. Oh my goodness. So much talking. So much energy. Ah, uh, now I can take a break finally. Howdy. You're becoming a pro. You're becoming a pro at this, buddy. At this rate, you'll be able to confront Asgore himself. Wow, that was fun, though. That was a lot of fun, guys. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, I guess that's it. I don't know what else to say other than thanks for watching. Look forward to the no commentary version coming out later today at 3 o'clock, most likely. Um, I think I'm going to stick to the schedule of 10 a.m. Uh, normal videos when I do commentary and then when I have no commentary only games they come out at 10 a.m. anyways and if I do do commentary then they come out at 10 and the no commentary versions of those videos come out at 3 p.m. Eastern all Eastern time oh boy um, so yeah hopefully that wasn't too confusing <laughs> I think you guys get it though um, if you're not subscribed consider subscribing because if you can't tell, I'm pretty cool, I think. I'm pretty funny, too. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Am I cringe? Am I based? Am I both? Either way, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Have a great...